Um, those actions agreed. Agenda item 3.2, um, and this is P04539, Save Cardiff Coal Exchange. Now, this petition was submitted just last week by Mr. John Avent uh, and has collected 389 signatures. An associated petition hosted on another website has already collected 2,680 <laughs> signatures. And also, um, colleagues may be aware that this has attracted already quite significant media interest. This is not surprising given the, the uh, sort of status and uh, prominence of the, of the building. The text reads, this petition seeks a commitment from the Welsh Government to set up a public inquiry into the events surrounding the coal exchange and to support public opinion which seeks to protect and conserve the building. The Coal Exchange is one of Cardiff's most important buildings and one of the finest buildings in Wales. It's where the world's first million pound deal was struck during the city's industrial heyday, equivalent to over 100 million pounds today. Yet, far from cherishing this building, Cardiff Council proposes to demolish the main body of the building, keeping only the facades and the Petitioners contend that if this happens, the magnificent interior with its immense historical significance will be lost forever. This Grade 2 listed building deserves better. So is the petition and the views of the public need to be heard. The Council have been claiming for the past year that it is on the point of collapse. No works have been done, yet there is no apparent evidence that the building is about to collapse. Uh, it is questioned if Cardiff Council were able to use Section 78 powers under the building uh, under the Building Act to progress their plans, and this needs to be investigated openly. So much of Cardiff Bay's social and built heritage has already been destroyed, it seems inconceivable that more can be cast aside with cynical abandon, as the petition reads. It's unclear why the Council refuses to see the value of restoring the coal exchange to protect this iconic building for the use and enjoyment of future generations. Finally, the issues are of the highest level of public interest, and it is considered essential that an open public consultation occurs to review these matters. And we had quite a, um, a, a lengthy discussion um, in uh, uh, lunchtime last um, Tuesday or Wednesday when this came in with Mr. Avent and some of his supporters. And, um, and it's clear that some of the, the lead petitioners actually have a background in engineering and uh, conservation matters. So uh, clearly that is informing uh, some of the themes that they've brought forward in this petition. A um, number of possible actions, also a degree of, of, of urgency, I sense, on, on, on this one, given the, the time sensitivity um, around it. Very keen to have any suggestions from colleagues. Um, Russell, uh, if you're in a position to, to yeah. share your thoughts. I'll try and speak down the microphone, Chair. Um, I think it was very useful to speak to the... Um committee, uh, the petitioners last week, yeah. but uh, I think we should write to the uh, county council, seeking their views on what they intend to do with the building. Yeah. I think that seems to be the main issue, talking to the petitioners last week. Yeah. Okay, so if we can write to the, to the uh, chief executive of, uh, of Cardiff council, um, and also potentially to um, the acting leader, I'm not quite sure who's taking that role after Councillor Joyce's um, decision to step down, or maybe... Joyce, is she, is she currently in post as far as I you're aware? You're not aware. Oh. Council, so oh, no. I'm not going to... Okay, I just uh, thought you might have uh, been no. briefed on that one. <coughs> yeah, yeah. okay. Well, we'll if we write to, to the person who's leading the council and the chief executive, that's um, surely a good starting point. Yes. But, uh, Joyce, you had indicated, and I just sort of uh, went uh, to, to no. Russell in the first instance yeah. as he was Apart there. Apart from... Uh, and I agree with what's been said about writing to the County Council. Also, I think we ought to equally write to CADO and the Minister for Culture and Sport. It's a Grade 2 listed building, yeah. uh, so protection is already afforded to some aspects of the building. Very much so. CADO yeah. will be able to tell you exactly what those protections are yeah. and, uh, and uh, how uh, they're moving forward with ensuring that. So I think at this stage, you know, right, you're right to say there's an urgency around this. Yeah. So to respectfully ask for speedy response within that would be useful, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the points made by the, uh, by the lead petitioners was that given that the council had, had resort to um, Section 78 powers, that in, in many ways 
uh, by the nature of those particular powers, was kind of excluding CADU from its from from its normal some some of its its well, normal functions. Out, and it would be very useful to get that clarified. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, about that, I know you take significant interest in these heritage matters uh, as well. Um, no, but that was what I wanted to ask in terms of the... I mean, I'm not a specialist in terms mm. of the, the Act itself, yeah. but the fact that they've used it uh, in this case, um, without, so that has meant then that, that they didn't need to take public consultation mm. because it seems to be an emergency measure mm. and, an and an exceptional yeah. circumstance. So perhaps yeah. we could ask the Council as to why they mm. took that yeah. as opposed to another route... Um, yeah. whether we could have an explanation yeah. perhaps ourselves as a committee as to mm. when that process is triggered yeah. by a council or by a planning authority Indeed. so we understand yeah. why it was used in this instance yeah. because obviously we've had cases before where um, <coughs> certain parts of a building will be listed mm. and then others not and we need yeah. to understand for the future benefit of Wales how mm. we can go about protecting um, key parts of our, our heritage, considering that they've played such a mm. vital role in shaping Wales. So sure. um, CADU has a, an important part to play there, although I don't... Uh, no, I won't say anything. Okay. Um, perhaps we can go on a site visit, because sometimes I feel like we did in mid-Wales with the hospital there. Yeah. It helps us to see what the problems are, Absolutely, where yeah. the issues lie, and whether the council would allow that in the short time that we would... Potentially have. I think a, 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 a seeking a site visit would be would be really really um, beneficial. I, I, I wouldn't rate our chances of gaining access uh, currently, given the given, given what we were told last week. But let let us see. The one thing that Mr. Avent and his colleagues did did say last week was that these powers are normally used in a situation of a real emergency. For example, mm -hmm. if you have a, an articulated lorry hitting a building and it's and it's looking perilously close to actually falling down, right. whereas clearly. They've been, they've been drawn upon um, to, to uh, facilitate certain uh, actions or certain, um, certain activity and, and then no evidence of work going for, for, for many weeks and, and months. So there, is something, there are some issues here that don't add up. And I think the final thing that Russell might also wish to, to have raised uh, was around the, the lack, of, lack of openness with regard to freedom of information requests. There, there was a complaint that that questions that, that they went unanswered, and then when there were, an appeal was made to the, to the information manager, they came through at the very last minute, and there was a, a sense of, of, um, of dragging of feet, which again, I think, informs the, some of the reference here to, to openness and, uh, and addressing the public interest. So I think we've got a good suite of questions there. Yeah. Joyce. Uh, Chair, since you've now aired those views in public, I think it would only be right and proper that we then ask uh, Cardiff Council to respond to those. Indeed, and, and, and uh, that will be part of, our, part of the text of the letter of, uh, with, the, with the committees. Um, who, have we, who, have we, who have we agreed to write to? We've agreed to write to Cardiff Council, to yep. the Chief Exec and, and the person who is acting currently as leader, to CADU. Um, and and I think and for minister. now that is mm. – and, 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 and the Minister, indeed, for the Minister for, for Culture and Sport. Sorry for having omitted that. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Um, now we have agenda item 3.3. Uh, 